All right, so about the treasure chest. So currently, we've got 22 hours left on it, on the treasure hunt. And I'm hoping that I'm going to see this event in the future because it was pretty great. It was very easy. The chests were a bit expensive at the beginning, but with time, they got cheaper because everybody was making entries, basically. And uh, it was fun, not going to lie. I have two entries left, so I'm just going to do these two left. Because I'm not going to play it anymore, I've just got bored of it. So let's see how many runs I've done so far. I've done way too many runs, honestly. It's been quite fun at the beginning, but then with time, you know, you get bored of it. So pretty much you just, you always set the goblin speed because you want to do as many runs. So it's 1.5 million each time you increase the speed on it. So if you do 900, or a thousand runs you probably spend like 20 ones or something just to make him faster so anyway let's see how many runs i've done so far i have 701 runs all right so i've got about uh, 800 here dragon god attacks defense as well but this one is not very helpful for the ninja so pretty much a decent event if you wish to get the dragon god attacks very nice so Changes 408. All right, let's begin. Kind of, kind of curious to see what bonuses I can get, and I believe I'm gonna keep them probably over 35. Otherwise, I don't see a reason to keep them. Okay, so this is the first one above 32, but it's useless. We're gonna change 32. Anything above 36, I'm gonna keep. Thirty-eight. Mm, not bad. Not too bad, I guess. Let me change a different one as well. Anything above thirty-eight on this one, I'm gonna pretty much keep this one and change on the other one. I don't feel like thirty-eight is that massive. I feel like forty plus will be good looking. It's that round number. Thirty-four. Okay, 200 are gone. We've got 200 left. So 208, we pretty much threw it all on the garbage. Nothing good, except this one. But I wouldn't call this good, to be honest. I feel like anything above 40 is like jackpot. Not complaining though, whatever. 37. This one has 37, critical 3%, poisoning free. This one is 38 though. Mmm, yeah, I'm gonna change this one with 37. Oh, 39. 39 and 10 devils. 8 dexterity, that's really good. Okay, this is the first one that is actually decent. It has everything, even dexterity for ninjas. Finally, that's that's not bad. Not bad at all. I wish it was 40. Like that 4-0 would have been looking so much better. All right, I'm gonna change on the 38 one. All right, let's go. 35, 10 devils, and five poisoning chance, huh? Will this be sellable? Probably not. This one, definitely. Let's change a different weapon, though. I'm gonna keep those two. I feel like the 10 devils could be helpful. The poisoning chance, why not? But I got a Zodiac Sword. Let's just use it on this one. Because I'm pretty sure there's nothing going to be good. And I'd rather keep those two. And I can actually sell them. And that was the last one. So this is pretty much the outcome from 408. The highest average I've got. It's pretty much 39. 39 average and 8 dexterity. 10 devils. Decent. Also let's see the pet book chest. They're not credible or you can't even sell them so the only thing you can do is just open them so let's see if we get any any monster book right so from what i've seen i've only got bulwark one bulwark from what i've seen that's the only expensive one that it is which provides chance of block attack and the last eight ones that was that pretty much 
I've got plenty of Berserk, but I've traded them some. But they dropped very quick, honestly. This one, the Berserk, I've got plenty of them. So from 147 pet book chests that I had here, I've got five drill and one bulwark. No monster book, unfortunately. This is pr probably the most expensive one from here. I've got these two from the goblin events, so I'm more interested in the amethyst and see if anything can be to antiques, which are the most expensive ones. Uh, the mysticals can give you straight up legendary or rare. As you can see, you've got me one legendary, one rare. Another rare and one legendary onyx. It's not too bad, not too shabby, I guess. But I'm more interested in this one, the Daemonis, which is gonna give you Amethyst, which is what I'm more interested in than the others. Alright, let's see quickly. They don't look very great. Just a lot of fails. More fails than successfuls that I look at this. It was actually terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six times are just successful, the rest is just bad. Another one. So this is how alchemy goes for Amethyst. <laughs> that is insane. Right, so I'm just gonna try a little bit and see if I can do something with these Zodex. Maybe I can just flip them to plus nine and just sell them. So I haven't tried in a while to upgrade Zodex. But it will be fun a bit. I'm not gonna try too much on them because they're not like... 45 average or something, it's just 39. They're not too bad, but I'll try a bit. See how it goes. Because I know the Zodiacs are just very terrible to upgrade. So, just a small attempt. Plus 7? Ah, plus 8 failed. I'll be down. Gonna do plus eight, huh? Of course, of course, it failed. Again, failed at plus eight. Just once. You won't go once to plus eight. I can't believe it. Just once, mate. Just once. Is it that difficult? I swear to God. Just want it once to go to plus eight so I can attend to plus nine. But no. There goes plus seven again. Plus eight. For fuck's sake, man, for fuck's sake. Failed again to plus eight. Just no more titanium. It's just so many fails to plus eight. I just can't believe it, honestly. It's just how many times? Like five times to plus eight. It's just very bad daggers. Like it's a waste of money upgrading all of this. And it's just crash now. Hit hole. Goofy ass daggers, man. Oh my lord. There it is. Another. Another try. Another day in paradise in it. There you go. Plus seven again. There it is. It's done. Another titanium I have to waste. How many titanium do I have to waste all the time? There it is. Another chance. Goes down the drain. Okay, that's it. Just goofy ass daggers, man. Just goofy ass game. It's just done. I'm done with upgrading this bullshit, man. Just done. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Waste of money, waste of time, goofy ass daggers, goofy ass game, what do you expect? Alright, so I see right here on the marketplace that there's similar as mine, like 39 average and whatever, 69 ones, but then I see with 41 average at 65 ones, so I'm thinking I'll just put them for 60. So I'll just put them in the shop with 60 ones and just, if anyone wants them cheaper, I'll just PM me and just sell them, unless they're already sold. But I'm just gonna decrease the price each day, probably gonna end up selling them with 40 ones or whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly show you the Snowflake event. It's pretty much similar as the last year. To get the Snowflake spell, you need to kill 
different mobs. So if you check, each mob has a level. So this one is level 1. This one is level 3. So I believe it has 3 levels and a metting stone. So each mob has to be killed in order to get a spell. So this mob has level 4. This one has 2. And this 3. And then you have to kill a stone to get the spell. Or you can get it for free from the Santa Claus. If you want to see more in detail, just watch the last video because it's pretty much similar. So after you get all the snowballs, you can pretty much exchange them for a snowflake wand. It's pretty much the same thing as the last year. And that's when we had it first time. And after you get all the snowflake wands, you can just transform all the mobs around you. Well, not all of them, but eight only. So eight mobs will be transformed in in snowman and then you can receive the strong box i have this pet with auto pickup but they usually drop on the ground and i believe their names disappear as well so shouldn't be worried about that so all the names disappear on the ground i'm actually gonna let one on the ground and see if it disappears just to show it in a video i guess but it's pretty much similar as the last year the boxes drop on the ground you can pick them with a different account so no issues at all it's quite simple it's very easy event and so far I've collected about a thousand boxes and I'm gonna open them in this video. So as you can see the name just disappeared on the on the box so you can come and pick it up with a different account. It's a very nice event, very fun. Alright, so now let's see what's inside a thousand boxes, shall we? I'm not sure exactly what's the drop inside, but it's pretty much similar as the last one. And the last 20. We've got 61, 61 small artisans. That is so great. A lot of loot pass, a bunch of enchant item, and let's not forget the dragon beans, which are very expensive. I had before like 130 or something like that. So it's not too bad at all. It is very great. It gets closer to the same as the goblin one. It's just such a great event. And now let's just, let's just change the bonuses as we said. I'm hoping for 50 attack value. The 8 mating stone just doesn't help because I don't hunt stones or I don't do melee with it. So let's see. 50 attack value, boys. Nope. I believe something will change on these ones. Something great. Darkness for 5 seconds. Nah. 2 mating stones and 4. No. Attack bonus. Nothing good here. Poisoning resistance, nah. Power of lightning, 1%, nah. Come on, there's so many changes and nothing great. Attack value 20. We'll keep it this one for a while, until we get more. It's not too bad. It's gonna help. 20 attack value is gonna help for a bit. For now. I'm gonna get... I believe I'm gonna get like 200 plus small horizons, and then I'm gonna change again. Something like that. Until the next episode, of course.